Hey guys, so I thought, you know, why don't we like go through my trash? Because I've been saving my trash for you all. This is an empties video, hey! I've been watching empties videos and I don't know why, I just, I love them. I feel like you get a real, real opinion on a product and someone has like gone through the life of using the product and they can give you like, am I gonna repurchase it? Do I love it? Did I hate it? And you see that they like really used it. So I have a ton of stuff. Y'all know I'm a product junkie. This is no secret. I take my YouTube job very seriously and I'm always trying new beauty products. So um, it means a lot if I actually get through something. So let's kind of dive right in. Um, right at the top, this is exciting stuff my friends, deodorant. Actually I need a good recommendation for like a natural deodorant because I have been more aware of buying natural products recently. I'm kind of dipping my toe into that pond and you know the Michael Todd products, I feel this might be like I don't know if this makes sense to you, but I feel like it kind of pulled everything out of my skin. And now that I'm not using chemicals on my face, because I'm using pretty much all that line and it's all organic and paraben free, like I feel like something has changed and my skin is better now. And I'm kind of like, hmm, like should I be using like organic, sulfate free, paraben free, like everything, body hair care, everything? I don't know if I'm going to go that far, but um, I'm always open to recommendations. Who has a good deodorant recommendation for me? Because I have been stuck on the Dove Clinical Protection Original Clean plus vitamins E and F. This one is dead. I just went and bought this one because I keep buying the same thing over and over and over when it comes to the care of my underarms. And uh, who wants to smell and who wants to look sweaty? Like that ruins an outfit in a hurry. Um, and that's the problem with like the natural deodorants is you like sweat through your clothes and that's just gross. Anyway, okay, moving forward. Let's talk about my ridiculous body spray collection because these aren't completely empty, but let me tell you, they will probably linger around in my cabinet for like another year or two. Um, let's just be honest because does this happen to you guys? You get like the little teeny tiny like inch of product left and you're like, oh, but it just, it brings me back to, I don't know, the summer of whatever. I associate scent with like times of my life. So instead of going through a scrapbook, I feel like I put on body spray and I'm like taken right back. Um, but my favorite Victoria's Secret body splashes have been strawberries and champagne, love spell. This is probably my number one favorite favorite. I love it and pear. Who doesn't love pear? It just, it smells so good. Kind of tacky, but smells so good. All right, let's move on to, uh, it's a lot of body care. Like I love buying body care. I just do. Hemp's Original Herbal Body Moisturizer. I plowed through this thing so fast. I love this lotion. I probably will repurchase it because it smells so good and the scent lingers and it really softens the skin and it does absorb pretty quickly into the skin. I really love this. I also, every summer I buy this and I need a new one. This is the Satsuma uh, Body Butter from The Body Shop. This is a little more oily. I hate using that word to describe a lotion because it's not its not like slick and gross. It doesn't feel gross, but this is a great um, body butter for exposed skin if you want to have that like nice sheen. And the scent is just so fresh, so crisp. I love it. I always use this on vacation, so it's another like scent reminder. Like it reminds me of vacation. And like, even, even this little teeny tiny bit in here still smells so, so good. So love that. I need to get more of that. Um, I have a couple more body lotions in here. I don't know what happened. I like ran out of body lotion all at the same time. I don't know why. I'm I'm without body lotion. Um, drenched in pink, warm and cozy. This isn't really my favorite scent for this time of year. I think it's a little, you know, warm and cozy is better for like winter months. It's cozy. It's like a cotton candy yummy scent. And I do really love this though. This scent like really lingers. If you want a scent to stay on your body and like on your sweatshirt or your jacket, it's the weirdest thing. Like your clothes will smell like whatever pink body lotion you use. And um, isn't the packaging cute? I just love the pump and everything. Uh, the only problem with these is like you have to, when you get down to the bare bones of it, you have to open it up and you can slam a lot of product out of here because the pump won't get it all because it's in such a weird shape. But um, loved that. 
And then now, because I'm out of lotion, I've been using up the remainder of my winter candy apple. So I smell like Christmas and it's April, which is strange. I just need to go buy a new body lotion. But this has like a little, little bit left. Like I feel bad throwing it out. I don't know, does that happen to you guys too where you feel guilty like, oh, but I need to use it up and it only has like just this much and it's taking up so much space so you kind of like force yourself to use your product. This still has some left but I wanted to mention it just because it's so so good and I started using it again. I've already gone through an entire container of this last year and this is a recommendation from Matt Motherhead. I featured it in a favorites and if you have color treated hair, coarse hair, or you just want to like soften your hair, this is a great conditioner for a salon kind of high quality conditioner, I think it's a pretty fair price. It's not crazy expensive for what it does because it makes your hair feel like silk. For extremely dry, damaged, and unmanageable hair. I don't know what Matt's trying to say to me if he thinks my hair is like crappy, but um, but it works. I like it. Um, for hair that feels like silk, Carousilk, Goldwell, it's amazing. Also for hair, um, I finally went through this and there's even like there's a little bit left, but it's not spraying out I don't use it every day. I don't even use it that often But if I'm doing like a special kind of an updo where I want a really lifted look and I don't want to do a lot of teasing This is called what a tease back comb in a bottle and it really is like back combing your hair in a bottle You hold your hair up you spray it on the root you let it kind of dry and you'll have that little like bump so it's pretty awesome stuff. I really love it. And yeah, I will definitely be getting more of this because it's really good. This was a little trial size thing that I tried. This is super expensive. I Brace yourself, just don't scream at me. This little trial size was $6.99. I got this from a little um, beauty shop, Beauty Essentials. Anyway, they have a bunch of really interesting brands there. And this is called Suds FX, it's whipped cream and honey, volumizing shampoo, no sulfates, no hidden sulfates. So like they really like drive that home. This is really interesting because you wash your hair once with it, super concentrated. You rinse your hair and you wash again and then it really suds up. It's really kind of crazy. It leaves your hair clean, volumized, but still super, super healthy feeling. And it smells just like honey. It's so good. So I'm tempted to buy the big bottle. I think it's like $25 or something. But I have to say, even this little one lasted me a really long time. So I like that. My self-tanner that I'm almost, almost on the edge of needing to go buy more of this. This is what I use when I want to self-tan my face. This is the Jergens Natural Gr Natural Grow. What? This is the Jergens Natural Grow Grow Glow. Why can't I say glow? Glow. When I want to tan my face, but I don't want to get sunspots from the evil, wrinkling, horrible, cancer-causing sun, um, I reach for this. It's a gradual tanner. You can use this underneath your moisturizer or mixed in with your moisturizer or just alone if you're lazy like me sometimes. And this is fantastic. This is for fair to medium skin tones. It has uh, some protection in here of SPF 20 and it does not break you out. Something I'm really, really finicky about is self tanners tend to cause acne, which it's like, great, my skin is tan, but now I have acne, yay. No one wants that. Um, so this is really fantastic. I don't like using self tanners that you use on the body, on my face. It's just like, it's cause of acne. <laughs> I just am really weird like that. I just don't want it on my face. So if you're like me and you're looking something specific to your face being glowy and tanny and when you see me like go from pale one minute to like having really tan skin the next, it's cause of this and it's really good. Okay, also while talking about skincare, these two I won't be purchasing again. This is what I was using, I think, directly before Michael Todd came into play, which I've been using consistently for like over six months now. And this I got at the dermatologist's office. This is made by the company that makes Botox, I think, the Allergan. They make like all the medical kind of injectable stuff. Anyway, uh, this was really highly recommended. It's like a heavy glycolic, like heavy, super exfoliating, anti-aging, really like very chemically products. And I didn't realize, you see this is empty and this one is almost empty. I'm just throwing it away. I just, I, 
only held on to it because I knew I wanted to do this video. This has like 12% glycolic acid and I didn't realize this it was actually stressing my skin out and causing more breakouts and you know I finally put two and two together that I was using just really overly abrasive harsh products and they weren't working for me. So these gotta go. Yeah I, and it was really expensive too. I not like it. Um, I have two of these that I'm out of. Let's talk about like my absolute, I wish this was not empty. And this one is empty too. I actually like cracked open the bottle at one point, was like digging in the bottle for like remnants of the product because I freaking love this stuff so much. It's my number one favorite product from the Michael Todd line. And again, 20% off for a year. I say that anytime I mention this product because they're still doing that and I want you guys to be able to save 20%. So that will be in the info box. It's not a code, just click on the link if you're interested in trying Michael Todd products that I talk about nonstop. This is the Hyaluronic Acid Plus C Antioxidant Moisturizing Serum. And this hydrates, restores, and fortifies skin, normal to dry, mature, and combo skin. So for me, having issues with breakouts but wanting to fight dryness and anti-age. This is like the perfect serum. Hyaluronic acid really draws moisture to the skin, but it doesn't add heavy oils and it just feels so clean and light. It smells like roses. I use this like on my decollete. I have James using this, but I almost get jealous when he uses this because I'm like, you're using a full pump and you only need half a pump and you're wasting it. Um, but this stuff is truly, truly awesome. I can't go without it. Like I notice when I stop using it. And to me, that shows me that something's really working. So love this. Also from Michael Todd, I actually threw out the bottle, which I'm kind of ticked off at because I've been like hoarding and saving all of my product empties. But I went through a full bottle of the Charcoal Detox and it is super concentrated. It's my favorite cleanser for removing makeup. Like if I need to get all waterproof makeup off, if I need to like pull impurities out of my skin, it's absolutely wonderful. But also, I think the reason that I went through a full bottle, aside from James loving to steal my skincare, um, I keep this in the shower. And because I like to shower at night and that's usually when I take off all my makeup in the shower. And I use this on my chest, I use it on my back, and I feel like it's really helped a lot of those breakouts. Well, for me, I get breakouts on my chest, I get breakouts on my back, um, it's the same as my face. I have to be very conscious of taking care of the skin on my body as well, and I find that this is not really drying. Like, it really will help clear up and draw the impurities of those areas on the body as well. So this is great stuff. Okay, let's talk about, like, random food stuff, because... We're going through my trash. Let's go like legit through my trash. This I just pulled out of the trash actually. Um, Suja, I Instagrammed this the other day. I love Suja drinks. They're cold pressed juices, there's no preservatives. It's just as good as whipping out your juicer at home except for you don't have to put you know, pounds of product through a juicer and spend a half an hour doing it. And if you are in a mad rush, this is like the best one to buy because you're getting everything good in here. It's good as a meal, not that you want to have this just for a meal. I love these. I feel like they stabilize my blood sugar. I feel like I'm trying to add healthy calories into my diet to gain weight and to keep things in my system all the time. So I have been spending the extra cash to keep these on hand. They are super expensive, but it's quality. I look at juices as medicine. I really feel like I'm, I'm doing super good by eating the right things sometimes, drinking the right things. So love these, you can get them at Whole Foods. And then I just found this. I've been drinking Synergy drinks for a long time, kombucha, and then they came out with the Chia with Synergy, so it was kombucha and Chia. And I like them, but I hadn't found a flavor that I was like really, really in love with. Uh, the Black Chia is my absolute obsession. It's like tingly and fizzy, and you get all the nutrients from your chia seeds and the kombucha, and it's kind of sour and tart and super healthy for you, and I love it. And then I've also, this is not like super duper healthy, but I have been totally obsessed with Chex Mix. Oh, I'm on my little last bittiest bit. I don't know where this came from. I get in these ruts where I'm like, I need this every day. I don't know why, but I just, I need it. And when I'm out of it, I need more of it. And then I'll be that way for a couple of months and then I'll like move on to something else. Um, Cinnamon Chex that is gluten-free is the most amazing thing ever. Whole grains, it's not like organic or perfectly natural or perfect food, but this is like dessert to me. I, 
um, pour a bowl with almond milk and literally when I say it's dessert this is not necessarily breakfast it's like if I'm on the couch watching TV and I want something really sweet and tasty and I want like a treat this is what I have I love it and it's not too bad there's eight grams of sugar per serving and a gram of protein it's you know it's pretty good I don't think it's so bad but I love this it tastes like heaven you like cinnamon go check this out even in a Ziploc bag with no milk at all. It's just like the best ever. All right. Ah. Okay, I think that's it. I think those are my empties. This was kind of like a fun video. Um, last little empty. This is like an everyday empty for me. Last Starbucks. Um, I drink an Americano with almond milk and stevia. That's like my daily go-to beverage of choice. Um, if I'm in Hollywood and I, you know, want to take the drive down to Vine, they have a clover press machine there. And if you haven't experienced a clover coffee from Starbucks, you need to experience the wonders of it. It's amazing. It's like top shelf coffee. It's so, so good. Um, so yeah, so there's another empty. All right, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you're having an awesome day and I will see you next time. Mwah.